Hi, my name is Dara Mulligan and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Max 5969B powered device and Max 5971B power sourcing equipment controller for power over Ethernet. So what is power over Ethernet? Power over Ethernet, or PoE, is a technology that allows power to be delivered through network cables to a powered device via power sourcing equipment and has many advantages over traditional power delivering methods. Power over Ethernet allows power and data to be combined, reducing cabling and can be installed by non-electricians, removing the need to, to alter the AC mains infrastructure. It is an intelligent system with protections at the forefront, preventing overcurrent, underpowering and installation errors while keeping simple scalability and reliability. Let's see it in action. Here we have the Max 5971B which will act as our power sourcing equipment and the Max 5969B as the powered device which will receive power over an RJ45 CAT6 cable. Notice the input polarity of the Max 5971B. Ground is connected to the positive of our supply and VEE is connected to our power supply ground. So here we have our Max 5971B which is connected to our 48 volt power supply and our Max 5969B which contains a galvanically isolated flyback DC-DC converter to give us 12 volts at our load. The specifications for these devices follow the IEEE 802.3 AF AT standards and our device is set up for a class 4 system with a power range of 12.9 watts to 25.5 watts. Before our power sourcing equipment delivers power to our power device, it needs to be sure that the receiving device can handle the power being delivered. This is where we get technical, so bear with me. The first step in the process is signature detection. Signature detection uses a low voltage of 1.4 volts to 10.1 volts to detect a characteristic signature of IEEE compatible power devices using a 24.9 kilo ohm resistance. The signature resistor is verified by measuring the change in current when two different voltages in this range are applied to the powered device. The power sourcing equipment records the current measurements at the two applied voltages to verify the signature resistor. Once the signature has been detected, the PSE knows it can safely deliver higher voltages and move on to the next step, classification. In classification mode, the PSE determines the classification current of the powered device based on its power requirements. An external classification resistor connected from the CLS pin to VSS determines the classification current. When the PSE applies a voltage between 12.6 volts and 20 volts, the MAX 5969B exhibits a current of 36.4 milliamps to 43.6 milliamps. The PSE uses this classification current information to classify the power requirement of the powered device. So we have our signature detected and we know our power range, we're ready to apply full voltage. Our 48 volt supply from our power sourcing equipment is connected to our powered device through the RJ45 cable. Once enabled, the PSE will continue to monitor the current drawn from the powered device and disconnect if the power was not in the correct range. This protects the powered device from overcurrent, underpowering, and ensures a safe disconnect if there is a fault with our powered device. From the Max 5971B Evaluation Kit software, we can see that our signature detection, classification and power have all completed successfully. The Max 5971B has identified the Max 5969B as a class 4 configuration. As we can see here, our output is 12 volts, 1.9 amps, meaning our setup was successful. Let's go a step further. If I increase the output current, whoa, that doesn't look right. Let's check our software to see what happened. Looks like a fault flag has appeared, IMAX underscore FLT, meaning an overcurrent fault has occurred, hence our PSE disconnected the power. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, I hope you learned something. For more information, click the link in the description for more Maxim demos and power over Ethernet products. See you next time.